again, it's always best raw, and you just, mm -hmm. it's tough to find. Mm -hmm. Number seven, don't let your friends sabotage your healthy habits. That's a big one. Uh, it's hard. You know, you're trying to do something healthy, and your friends are, first of all, they don't understand it, and because they don't understand it, they're laughing at you, and they're doing everything in their power to make you fail at what you're trying to do. Friends, family, you've got the holidays coming up. Not that you're going to be perfect on the holidays, but it's tough. It's really tough. And, uh, you know, eating's a big social event. And it's hard. It's hard to try something new. Increase your good fat intake. I'm big on this one, too. And by the way, I just want to say from experience, I'm going to tell you in a minute after we get through this what I'm doing. This Eat Cultured Foods, I've been doing this for four days now. I have no sugar cravings. I've craved sugar my whole life. Even when I cleanse, I shouldn't crave sugar. So this is amazing. So again, I'll, I'll get into more detail of that in a minute, but increase good fat intake. Okay, so what are fats? We talked about what the good fats are. Did somebody? I have a question about yes. why increase good fats. Okay. Fats have a more controlled release into the bloodstream. They're not sugars, they're fats, but they're an energy source for the body. Okay. As I said before, fats is not what's making us fat, it's sugar. Okay. We've done whole classes on fats, which I would highly recommend you go to my website, to the Education Center, and go to the video section, and you can see all kinds of videos on good fats versus bad fats, what good fats do in the system, how important coconut oil is, and how healing of a food that is. But just to give you just kind of a brief summary, good fats is what you need to absorb your minerals in your body. Good fats is what you need to build your nervous system and your brain. Good fats is the number one thing babies need to develop. Did you know baby, uh, mother's breast milk is almost 100% saturated fat, and we're so scared of saturated fat. Good fats feed the entire glandular system, thyroid, adrenals, pituitary hormones. Fats are critical for hormone production. If you didn't have fats in your body, you won't produce hormones. So if you eat, if you eat a nutritionally dense diet, mm -hmm. With no added fat to it, you won't absorb the minerals that you need. You need it, not not as well. No, not at all. No, because you need fats for that. Yeah, it's very important. But aren't there aren't there basically only two fats that you should eat, which would be extra virgin olive oil, not heated, and coconut oil. Mm. Those are the no. Those aren't the only fats you should eat. No, not at all. Like what nuts. Fat? Seeds, Nuts, yeah. pumpkin oh, okay. seeds, almonds, okay. walnuts, okay. preserves. I was thinking yeah. of that you get in a jar, liquid, not in the food. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, they have pumpkin oils, okay. like the Udo's 369 oil is a good oil, flax oil, you know, all okay. those types of, okay. of good fats. Okay. Foods, avocados, you know, nuts and seeds. So you're talking about increasing your good fat intake by eating the whole food, not by having added a oil. teaspoon of oil to something. You can add a teaspoon of oil to something. Absolutely. I probably do three, four tablespoons of oils a day. Absolutely. I use coconut all the time. My mom does four tablespoons of coconut oil a day. Yeah, and uh, that's what I recommend to people for weight loss. If you want to lose weight, do four tablespoons of coconut oil a day. What do you, what do you put it on? I just started using it. Salad? It's like, but it's too sweet. Protein shake? Uh, I put it on steamed vegetables chicken, fish, anything yeah. after you've cooked it, Even it'll flavor it. Uh, you can throw it in any shaker smoothie, you can throw it oatmeal. Some people just put it in water, like hot water, and just yeah. drink it. Oh, okay. so. You can pop your popcorn in it. Yeah. <laughs> Butter your toast. <laughs> <laughs> Avoid the expansion contraction uh, contraction trap. I kind of talked about this. I kind of talked about this briefly with hormone balancing. But what happens is, Yin and yang, hot and cold, expand, contract. Okay, stress, salt, contracting. Sugar, expansive. We need to be here. We're here, and then we go here, and then we go back here, and then we go back here. What do Americans crave? Sugar and salt. We need to eat foods that are here. What's here? Fermented foods, vegetables, whole grains. The foods we know we're supposed to be eating, so we stop yo-yoing which destroys the body. Stevia. Stevia doesn't have any sugar. So, your number